Imagine a solar system that not only powers homes, but also transforms outdoor spaces into stunning energy hubs. Today, we're unveiling something truly unique, our first ever solar pavilion installation, and you'll hear the inspiring story behind the vision that made it possible. Rather than just put up solar, I decided to put up a pavilion. We actually gained some additional outdoor living space. The topography on the land lent itself to having a retaining wall area on this side because the property slopes down. And I had planned on putting solar in, but I didn't want panels on the front of the home. This has a southern exposure, which was very helpful to maximizing the amount of sun and energy that we can produce. This area was really fun to be at, but it was always very, very sunny. So I knew what I wanted. I knew what I wanted it to look like. Uh, I did a lot of internet research on different types of these are called carports actually, but you know, sort of like pavilions and there were so many cross members and beams and it just wouldn't have been functional for me. I had to be below the master bedroom windows, uh, but I also wanted to be high enough uh, to be able to walk under. One thing I didn't recognize when I was looking at height, I wanted eight feet on that end and six feet on this end so that I could walk through. Well, there's a, there's a six inch main beam that runs through here, which lowered the six feet to, to five foot five. And that was just a little bit too low. Uh, but when the guys came out on site and I explained that to them, it was a real relatively easy fix. Just lowered the angle a little bit and, and we made that accommodation right on site. I actually sized it based on how many panels I could fit on the hip roof here on the side, as well as the size of the pavilion that I wanted. It just so happened when I did everything, it came up to 15.3. It's a 15.3 kilowatt system. Even though the inverter only maxes out at 10 kilowatts, it brings me to 10 kilowatts much faster and it stays at 10 kilowatts longer uh, because of that additional capacity with, with the sun and the additional panels. And it also eliminates any sort of uh, degradation over the years. You know, I understand the panels may, may degrade about a half a percent per year. So at the end of 10 years, you're producing 5% less. But if you have a few more panels on your, on your roof or on your pavilion, you, you've accommodated that up front and you're still gonna be putting out the maximum amount of energy years later. The pavilion itself has 24 panels, three rows of eight. When Bob came to us, like he had an idea. This is kind of unique for us to get into pavilions. We've done ground mounts before, but I think this might've been the actual like first pavilion where it's kind of like a livable space. Once Bob had that vision, we're not afraid to kind of dive into it and try to experiment and see what we can kind of come up with. Bob was very involved in the process, so we don't mind that because it's his product in the end and we want to make sure that he's happy with everything. I, I tend to to, uh, to overanalyze and overthink and, and I, I tend to ask more questions than necessary. So I'm, I'm very inquisitive and they worked very hard to make sure that I got exactly what I wanted. Uh, I was I was almost like you know an on-site customer saying no I want to do it this way. And they were very very accommodating, and once they understood my vision, uh, they were equally excited about it too. And when I saw the engineering design, I'm like oh my god, perfect, because I figured I'd have to go back and forth and say no, you got it wrong. But it was it was exactly what I wanted, and I signed off on it right away. You can see it's pretty much an open space. It's it's very usable. It's where we have our morning coffee and you know our evening drinks. The thing with these solar panels, with all solar panels, is is there's a small space between the panels for thermo expansion, so so they do get wet when you're down here. So I put in this corrugated roof. It was in stock at Lowe's, and uh, I put in a uh, industrial style gutter uh, to catch the water on the end, and, and the water runs right through and down the gutter, and then I have the uh, the rain chains. I put in the lights. I have an outdoor oscillating fan. Put a hammock in the middle. I had all this stone put in with. Uh, landscape fabric underneath. Yeah, the, the other thing that I was very impressed with and pleased is that all of the components associated with the system are buried, driven by houses, and you see conduit on people's roofs. Uh, they went through the roof in the attic, down to the basement. The inverter is indoors, not subject to weather conditions. I mean, I liked all of that. I liked that look. You know, we have a brand new custom home. It'll be three years this November, and I wanted the, the solar to actually complement the appearance as well as being functional. I'm very happy with, with the product I received.